Hey viewers, today I'm continuing work on this BMX bike and what I'm going to do today is overhaul the headset. So I'm going to show you the process of overhauling a headset equipped with a detangler, gyro, rotor, or whatever you want to call this. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start off by removing this front wheel just to get it out of the way because I have to pull the fork off. So loosen these axle nuts here. Just the way I can drop this front wheel down and pull that off. And I'm going to be needing to uh, remove this front cable here so I can uh, pull the fork down. But So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this and pull this cable down here out of the way so I can pull it up through the fork later. And then I'm going to remove these cables here from the top of the detangler. And so these are the ones that go up towards the brake lever. So I'm going to unscrew this here. And then... I can uh, pull this up and release this here and pull this out in the same way on, on this one here. Unscrew this here until it's all the way out. And then if I push up on here, get this out of here, and then I pull that out, out of there like that. And then I want to loosen this stem nut here. So this will loosen the wedge that holds the stem into the steerer tube of the fork. So I'll loosen this and then I should be able to lift out the handlebars and the cable comes out through there like that. Okay, next I want to remove this. Let's see, it's already kind of loose. So I'm going to pull this off here like this. If not, you use a wrench. And then there's a keyed washer under here like this. And so it's got the little slot uh, notch that goes in there. And then I pull this off here like this. And so just keep note that the, the concave part faces up. And then there's another thing. Oh, and this is loose. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Uh, use a wrench to kind of get it. I just kind of hold it here and then turn the fork. Might be a little easier. Spin this off here. Like this. And now I can pull the uh, whole fork out of there like this. And then there's a set of bearings up here. And then there's a set of bearings down here. And they look like they're pretty much the same. As far as I can tell, they look like they're the same. And then we we'll go ahead and remove this little top part here. Uh, there's these part cables here holding it on. So what I'm going to do is loosen these little lock nuts here. And then I should be able to unscrew these out of here. And same way with here. Loosen this. And then unscrew this here. Now with the cable loose, I should be able to take this little ball end here and push it out through there to throw a little slot and free this up here like this and do the same thing on the other side push the little ball end through there and pull this whole thing off and I pull these cables out of there like that okay I got the parts all cleaned up here I got some brand new bearings and so before I head out to the garage I'm gonna go ahead and pack these with grease I got my grease gun with marine grease and I'm just going to, uh, there's a bunch of bearings in here around this part. And so I'm just going to inject some grease down into here, into the bearings there. Just try to get as much grease as I can down in there. And then I can kind of work this around a little bit. And then I'll just wipe off any excess like that. And then these bearings here, I'll pack these just in square squirt in a little bit of grease in between each of the bearings there just pack this cage it's just a little easier to sit here at the table and do this instead of standing out in the garage okay all done with those okay I'm ready to start putting this thing back together so I got this part here it's all greased so I'm going to set that on there like that and what I want to do is get these cables kind of sticking up through here so I'm going to 
poke this up through the hole, and there's this little hole here, this little slot. I want to kind of hook that through there, and then that's going to sit down in there like this, and then I can start threading this into the hole here, just kind of get it started a little bit. And the same thing on the other side, put that up through there, get hooked over, and then get the barrel adjuster started threading up into the hole there, like that. And I'll thread it up to all of these so the top of the uh, uh, barrel adjuster is kind of flush with the plate there, and have them about equal like that, and then I'm going to leave it there for now because I'm going to probably need to adjust those a little bit. Now I want to install the bearings and so I'm going to put just a little bit of grease around the race here. Just add to the grease on the bearings and I'm going to install the bearings so that the flat side of the cage is facing up on the top here. And then for the bottom cup again I'm just going to squirt some grease up around in here. I cleaned these uh, out earlier too when I was cleaning out all the parts. And then I'm going to insert the bearings here with the flat side of the cage here facing down. Just like that. And insert them and they'll stay in there with the grease. Now I've got the fork here. I'm going to insert this up here through the headset. It'll go up through the bearings in the bottom and up through the bearings in the top here. And I've got the, uh, the cone part here that I removed off. So I'm going to thread this on and tighten it finger tight against the bearings on the top here. Okay, now I'm ready to install the rest of the stuff here. There's this little part here and it's keyed and it's going to go into this little slot back here and I want the concave part facing up. So I'm going to slide this in here like this. Then there was this uh, spacer in here, and there, that's keyed also, so that's going to go in there like this. And then there was this uh, little lock nut on the top. I'm going to tighten this on loosely to begin with, just kind of my finger, and then uh, turn the fork to see how it feels. Is there play? Does it turn smoothly? And it seems to turn pretty smoothly and uh, there's not like any play in there. So I'm going to use my adjustable wrench here to tighten the lock nut like that. Again, turn the uh, fork, make sure that it's still turning smoothly and tighten that lock nut. It's still, tur still turning smoothly. Okay, actually I might loosen it just a little bit. So I'm going to loosen the lock nut Loosen the cone just a little bit down here below and then tighten the lock nut down. Oops. And tighten the lock nut and then see how it feels. Okay, that feels good. It's turning nice and smoothly and there's no play. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready to reinstall the handlebars here, and right now it's got the cable coming down through the stem. I'm going to kind of pull this out of there for right now, and then I'm going to slide the stem on here, down in to there. And so I'll just turn around so you can see everything here. And then I'm going to tighten the uh, stem bolt here down, and I'm not going to worry about getting it perfectly straight at the moment, but I'm going to just kind of tighten it down. Get it roughly straight. Like that. And I can straighten it out a little bit later. So now I'm going to pull the cable out of the cable housing here. And I'm going to slide the cable housing down through the stem here. And I try to get it down through the bottom here. It's kind of catching a little bit down here. Kind of work it down through like this. Now I want to feed the cable over through this little part here. So Bring this over here like this, and I want to put a ferrule on the end of it, and this is going to go to the inside here like this, I believe on this one, 
and then this will go up here like this. I mean, I, I could possibly have it going around on the outside there, but uh, I think this one goes to the inside there, and I may not need quite this much cable housing here, so I'll put that just like that. Now I'm going to reinstall the front wheel because I need to readjust the brakes here. So I'm going to slide this on here like this and then tighten these axle nuts down. Okay, I'm going to remove this little fragment of brake cable here from the front brake. i got to replace the uh, brake cable here. Okay, line these slots up here, remove the old bit of brake cable here from the, the brake lever, Inst install a brand new little bit of uh, brake cable in here, kind of turn these in a little bit, feed it in through the brake cable housing, and pull it in from the bottom, feed the brake cable up through the barrel adjuster there, up and then feed the cable up through the little clamp bolt here, like this. Make sure that the uh, ferrule is fully seated in there. I'm going to kind of push the, the uh, brakes in there a bit. And then using my 8mm wrench here, I'll tighten this down a little bit. Put a little bit of tension on the cable. Push the uh, brakes in towards the rim, let them out just a hair and tighten this down just a little bit test the uh, brake lever, that's a little too tight so I'm going to loosen this let out just a little bit of cable might be just a little too much there, tighten this again Okay, so that's that action is just about perfect right there. So I'm going to tighten this all the way down here. Like this. Now I'm going to cut the uh, cable here. Like that. And I want to make sure that it doesn't catch under the frame here. Like when it swings under the frame there. And that's, that's okay. If it's too long, it'll rub up against the frame. I can always just kind of bend it down, I guess. But now I'm going to put a crimp end on there, like this, and then just crimp this on there, like that. Okay, so I'm ready to reinstall these here. I have the handlebars turned around so you can see the back of the stem here, uh, just so it's a little easier to see what's going on here. I'm going to thread these to either side of this cable coming down into the stem. I have the rear wheel off. That makes it easier for these to come up here because the, the, the brakes are can go feed in. And so this will make it easier to install these. And so I've got these little ball ends here. I need to put these down through these holes here. I'm going to start the uh, little uh, barrel adjuster in just a little bit. And then these little cable ends here need to get hook into the slots under this plate here. So I'm going to do the other one here. Um, Put the ball down through there, thread the barrel adjuster in a little bit. Then I can lift this plate up and then hook this little ball end under that slot there like that. And so now like when you pull the brake lever, it pulls this little plate up there. Now I've reinstalled uh, the rear wheel here. And so now I can um, work on adjusting these. I want the wheel to be able to spin freely and then be able to hit the brakes and have it stop. And I can adjust these to uh, do the tension. So I want to loosen up just a little bit. So I'm going to screw these down just a little bit. This is lock nut here. And then test this. And feel the, so the brakes are moving pretty well. Okay, you're going to need to do a little bit of adjustment 
on these different barrel adjusters here. Um, you want try to get these things as parallel as possible. You can kind of compare against this uh, lock nut down here, the, the, this plate here, and this top plate there. Um, and what you want to do is adjust it so that as you rotate it, they stay, this bottom plate stays fairly flat. Um, what you don't want to see is, let me kind of misadjust this here. I'll turn this a couple turns there. So like if I get it off, as you, you rotate it, you see how it kind of flops like that? That's what you don't want to see. But if you get it adjusted uh, correctly, then as you rotate it around, it should stay relatively flat. And this is just going to take a little bit of fine tuning to try to get it nice and smoothly like this. Um, and that actually looks pretty good right there. And once you get it, then you're going to want to tighten down these uh, lock nuts here so that these things stay so you can kind of uh, like this. And so these, there's lock nuts here and there's lock nuts down there. So tighten all these down and then you're done. Anyway, so that is how to overhaul the uh, headset on a BMX bike with a detangler, gyro, rotor, or whatever name you want to put on this. Uh, it's not too difficult. Anyway, if you found this useful or interesting, if you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page, and I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.